Hey everybody, it is Mike Young, lifestyle nutritionist with a plantbaseddiet.org. Welcome to another chapter of our V book, Live to 150, where I give you information on what is necessary if your goal is to live to 150. There are so many chapters, each chapter is something different. And really, if you want the best chance of being able to do that, you got to do everything. So let's talk about, let's make another general chapter since we just got back from our, my little sabbatical of events. Why am I doing this book and where am I getting the information from? What decides, what makes, what kind of content makes it into this book? Well, I'd say it's from probably three general areas. Number one is science. And we're not going to take any kind of a deep dive into science because I think all that information is out there on the internet. You can find it somewhere if you want. Uh, and just evidence, because a lot of stuff, uh, because sometimes science and scientific studies get clouded with political agendas and agendas of large corporations. Sometimes you just see some well done studies with significant evidence. And then number three is my own personal experience. And people that know me or are close to me know that I am a hypersensitive individual when we're talking about health and how negative things impact my health in a bad way. Like I know right away. So I would say like, I would consider myself like a canary in the coal mine type of a situation because a lot of people can have the same experience as me, like my wife, Denise, and she won't feel anything bad from something happening. And usually when I say something happening, I'm talking about something we just ate. Because once you start straying and the food is most important, as we know, the food is most important. And by the way, look at our disclaimer below in the video. We're not practicing medicine. We're just talking about what to eat. Okay, go see your doctor if you need to. But we, when I eat something that's less than optimal, I feel this almost immediately, all right? So even if I can't find any scientific evidence for this or evidence from just research, uh, correct research and evidence gathering. If I eat something and I know like something's really wrong with me after I eat it, I know that's the, like a lot of this is the body just telling you what you're doing wrong. Like a lot of what the sick care system says is disease is simply the body telling you, your body telling you that you are doing something wrong. So your job, if you want to live long and live without illness, sickness, live in health, you need to find out what you're doing wrong. And of course, most people are doing so many things wrong. It's ridiculous, which is why we have to have so many chapters in this book, because almost everyone is, whether they're taught uh, intentionally or not, in most cases they weren't, has been taught the wrong way. And don't let people say that something is just genetic or just runs in my family. What runs in your family are the habits, the ways of doing things, the way that you do things, the way that you are unintentionally taught, or the genetic, the real genetic part are the tendencies that you have to do the same or to have similar behavior. Like even if you weren't raised, like even if you're a twin and you were raised on some, some other continent, when you come back, you realize you do something similar because you might have similar genetic tendencies. It doesn't mean you need to do that. It just means that if it's a tendency that unchecked, maybe it's based on the habits in your previous generations, that you are, you're naturally led towards doing that thing incorrectly. And that's why you need a book like this, because you need somebody to tell you the right way to do things. Everybody does, including me. And we're constantly learning. So that's the basis of this book. It's there's a lot of observation that goes into this. Like a lot of what got me into this initially was me observing people, relatives, friends, other people, and what they're doing and recognizing that the average person gets sicker and sicker over time. And they ultimately die of these illnesses, not from natural causes necessarily. I've rarely found anybody that I know that dies of natural causes. It's usually a, some specific illnesses overwhelmed them or their body just started shutting down after years and decades of bad habits and not listening to the body when the body was telling you to stop. So that's why we have this book. That's why it's so detailed. That's why you're not going to find it in any other source either is because not only do we not know everything, but in many ways, you know, the sick care system doesn't approach it this way. 
because you're not going to hear me talk about prescribing pharmaceuticals, for instance. In fact, I just I avoid them at all costs. I, I know that there are situations you need them, and I know that the uh, the medical system is great at emergency care, traumatic care, all these types of things, keeping people alive when you never thought they kept alive. They can do that. They can do it very well. But I don't even want to be in that situation. Now I know if, if I get hit by a bus, I'm going to have to go to the emergency care. They're going to have to use this on me. Of course, I am not talking about that, but I am talking about doing everything you can to not have to have ongoing chronic illness, chronic disease, chronic anything that requires you to, to just be in a situation where you're, you're, you're never even given a diagnosis of being able to get better and you're not going to get better and you're taking pharmaceuticals, all of which have many, many negative side effects. And again, we're not practicing medicine. I am, uh, I'm just talking about what you want to eat. I think if, what you, if you eat the right things, in most cases, barring a, some kind of traumatic temporary event, you won't have to be part of that if you don't want to. That is within your control, it's within your power. You have the power to control your own destiny. And that's why, again, this book has to be so detailed and that's why you're not gonna find it anywhere else. So if you think you're ready to do this, because I've only got a few chapters in advance of this and we're gonna have a number for each one, including this one, please write in the comments, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready, I'm ready, write that in the comments. And follow along. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. These are all in one playlist, the book playlist. Join us on this journey. And it's a really cool process. You're going to really enjoy it. And you're going to be challenged every step of the way. It's never going to be boring because the kind of stuff I'm going to be talking about, some of it's going to blow your mind. Some of it's going to, you're going to think, I could never do that. But you can it's just that you and everybody else has been programmed by society to do everything a certain way because most people are just like sheep and they go along with doing things the way everybody else is doing it. And if you do that, you're gonna end up like everyone else, which is chronically ill, okay? So we don't want that for you because you're not gonna make it to, in almost all cases, you are not, how am I gonna get, make it to 150 if you're chronically ill, you're just not. It's amazing to me that the body will live 80 years when most people are chronically ill. It'll still last that long, but you're not gonna make it to 150. Most people are chronically ill. They still live to be about, be about 80 years old. If you're not chronically ill for any massive period of your life, and even if you're like 20, 30, 40 years old, you're not that old, okay? You, there's still plenty of time to change and the body will change. The body will naturally heal itself when given the right condition. So everything we talk about in this book, everything is not medicine, it is food and habits. And the fact that the body will heal itself naturally, but only if you give it the right conditions. And unfortunately, we're at a period of time right now where in most cases, most people grow up without ever learning this information. So we're here to learn, we're here to teach you and we're learning as well. And thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you in the next chapter. Bye.